HISD is still getting ready for their first day next week. A lot of districts welcome students back today. One of our area's largest districts, KDISD, is one of them. KPRC2's Brittany Jeffers was there for all the fun this morning. Brittany, good morning. <laughs> Yeah, good morning to you. It was very much an exciting day. 90,000 students within this district heading back to the classroom. This particular location is a brand new campus. And we heard from the superintendent today. He was talking about all of the growth here in the area. And they're saying that this particular elementary school will hopefully help to relieve some overcrowding issues at Bryant Elementary. From music to pictures, more than 650 students received a red carpet welcome into Robertson Elementary School. Last week, KPRC2 got a tour inside of the building with the school's principal, Martha Polito. Today, she, along with KDISD superintendent, greeted the students. Special day out here. I'll tell you, anytime we open up a new school, seems like it's, it's like that anticipation of kids at Christmas. Dr. Ken Gregorski says the district grew at almost 5% last year, and with more than nine 90,000 students enrolled district wide. This elementary school will help to provide relief from overcrowding. We've got uh, four other schools right now being built, two other elementaries just like this one that will go in our, our areas that are very high growth. Uh, by about 2030, we're going to hit uh, 100,000 students. School officials say the new builds and existing schools have an emphasis on safety. The district citing safety vestibules, door security, safety drills, and a partnership with local law enforcement agencies. We have more of a police presence this year across our district than we've ever had in any other time I've been here in KDISD, so we're very well prepared. So this building was funded by a 2021 bond. Uh, we also found out that it was built at capacity to hold about 1,031 students. At this point in time, they say they're just around the 700 mark of students that are enrolled this year. Reporting live from Katie, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. All right, Brittany, thank you.